Hey guys, Wells Knight here, bringing you another brand new episode of Unabridged from the Primus server. And you know what the worst feeling in the world is? When you record a long, wonderful episode, and then you realize that you forgot to essentially turn on your microphone. So, in the last episode, the one that you guys didn't see because I recorded it, I got this storage kind of worked out. This is modular storage from RF Tools, and I think I'm in love. I really do. I love it. It is amazing storage. It's kind of like a... It's, it's kind of like a... I don't know, almost like an ME system from Applied Energistics 2, but not quite on the same level. So each one of these um, modular storage blocks, each one of these can hold up to 300 items. Right now I've got the 200 item uh, storage module in them. But then it has a search feature. So if I want to search for, I don't know, a spawner, if I can spell, it'll show me in there and I can just grab stuff out. Really, really cool. Really useful. Uh, also did a little bit of work upstairs. Not much, just a little bit of decorating. Um, far from completed. But the first thing that I want to do in this episode is I want to get this right here, this electromagnet. I am really tired of not having a magnet. So, here's how this works. First thing we're going to do is make a vibrant crystal. And then we should have everything else. I've gathered all the resources uh, off camera. Oh, also, this is new as well. I've added some machines. We now have a fluid transposer. We've got a magma crucible and a precision sawmill as well. Um, did a little bit more down here. Tinker's smeltery is fully up and running with all of the various uh, patterns and stuff like that. My cobalt hammer now has a... Uh, has RF power, so I don't have to worry about repairing it. I mean, all in all, I've been very, very busy. And a lot of this stuff was done in the last episode, but then I uh, it didn't record any audio. So here we are. Um, what I want to work on today is this little tunnel right here. So this is the tunnel that leads from my house to the village. And it works just fine, but it's... Uh, it's not really the best looking tunnel in the world. And on Sanity has some cursed earth. Uh, so we might have to get that later to make use of, to get a mob farm going. That would be something useful. Um, but as for the tunnel, let's get to that. Let's come on down here and grab some resources. Ooh, also, there's something else I want to make too, but I'll, I'll get to that in a little bit. How's this thing doing? Fully charged. Excellent. So that'll allow us to uh, pick stuff up much faster now. So let's see here. For the tunnel, I'm thinking... Hmm... Maybe some andesite brick. Maybe some regular andesite. Some detailed cobblestone brick. And... Maybe some smooth stone. Even though there's plenty of that down there already. We can make the smooth stone into bricks, though, if we need to. And then we're going to grab some... Maybe some great wood. I really do like the way that great wood looks. In fact, I think that's what we're going to do. This should be... This should do the job. That's the deck. Over here. Here we go. So let's see here. Uh, the first thing that I want to do is... I. I think I want to bring this wall back one more. So let's do that. We'll worry about lighting uh, later. We're not going to deal with the lighting just yet. And uh, these ones I'll just take out this way, I guess. There we go. Sneak, actually, magnet. Love it. Okay. So we've got that going. We'll need to do the same on this side, but I think I'm gonna I'm gonna do the wall design here, and then uh, once that's done, then I'll worry about the rest. So I'm thinking we'll go like that. We'll go maybe five blocks in between. Yeah, that looks about right. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And one, two, three, four, five. 
that should do. That should do quite nicely. Okay. Now, um, this actually, I think, needs to come back again so that I can put whatever texture I want back here. I think that's what I'm going to do. And we can just leave some of this stuff as dirt, like you can probably stay dirt, and maybe you can also stay dirt. That should be fine. Yeah, that'll do. Let's take out some of this stuff. And then we can start work on the back wall itself. So here's kind of what I'm thinking we do. I'm thinking we'll do primarily these stone bricks. We're basically just going to mix the textures in. Um, something like that. Then maybe we'll do a couple of andesite bricks like that. Actually, this one I'm going to leave blank because that's where I'm going to put a light. And we'll go maybe here and there. And then why don't we just do regular stone bricks as well? So like that. Yeah, that's a pretty nice texture mix. So we'll just kind of paste these around. Like so. Yeah, I actually really like that. I think that looks very good. And, um... A little bit of that. Oh, missed that one. There we go. Yeah, what do you guys think? What do you guys think of this uh, texture wall pattern thing that we're doing? I think it looks pretty good. I think that'll do nicely. Now we'll need to do something up here for the ceiling as well. Uh, but I'll worry about that in a minute. Let me get this done to the other wall over here, and I'll be back with you in just a moment. All right, guys, I am back. So, we've got the walls done, uh, or at least mostly done. We've got the ceiling raised. I still need to put in my lighting, and for that, I think I'm just going to keep it real simple. And we're just going to use uh, redstone lamps, I think. Although I am going to peek and see if maybe there's a chiseled version we could use. Because that, be uh, that would be pretty cool. Let's just do that. There we go. So let's punch out our spot where we're going to put those lamps. And I think that's all good like that. Yeah. Now up here, I think I'm going to put stairs just like this and what we might do is we might just continue this pattern um, along the top level you know so we'll have kind of this uh, brick pattern here in the walls and then I think I'll just kind of do the same up here and I don't know what I'm going to do right here yet. I don't know. Hmm. I will decide on that. But for now, let's worry about the rest of this stuff. Um, I just realized I don't think I have a crafting table on me. That's okay. I'll make one real quick. There we go. So we'll maybe put that there. And we should probably count. One, two, three, four. So I need eight redstone lamps so uh, there we go no there's eight of those and then I also need eight torches or redstone torches there we go so we'll put the redstone torches in first like so there we go and then let's just take a quick peek and see if maybe there's a chiseled redstone lamp because that could be kind of cool let's see what we have nothing okay normal redstone lamps it is i guess 
That's fine. I don't know that I really care for the redstone lamp in this texture pack, though. I will say that much. It's not terrible, but it's not really great either. And I'm also kind of thinking that this would be better. Oh, this is going to take a little bit longer than I thought, but that's okay. Here's what we'll do. And I'm what I'll do, I think, is I'll show you what I'm going to do, and then I'll actually do it off camera. So here's what I'm thinking. I think what we'll do is we'll actually put this back one more. We'll put the redstone torch there. We'll put the glowstone lamp there. And then we'll take out these three, since you can do this with carpenter's stairs. We'll do something like that. And then we'll go ahead and reapply those textures. So it'll look like this. I think that looks really good. That's what I'm going to do. So let me get that done for the rest of this, guys, and I'll be back with you in just a little bit. All right, guys, I am back. Check this out. Looking pretty good. It's looking pretty good so far. We're definitely making some progress. I think the next thing that I want to do is I want to get a floor design going here, and I'm kind of thinking, I'm kind of thinking that great wood actually looks pretty good in this tunnel. So that's kind of what I'm thinking I'm going to be using. Um, subject to change, of course, but it's not bad, especially if we keep it, hmm... Let's just do a little bit of this and just see if I like it better like this. I'm just going to kind of mix some of these materials in here. No real particular order, as always, just kind of mixing it up a little bit. How's that look? Yeah. That's not bad at all. I think that looks pretty good. All right, guys. So I'm going to get that done, and then I'm going to figure out what I want to do for the roof here. So let me get some more work done here, guys, and I'll be back in just a little moment. All right, guys. I think we're good. I think we're done. We've got the mm, excuse me. We've got the walls in place. We got the ceiling in place. We've got the floors in place. I think the tunnel is pretty much completed. The only thing left is this little area right here. So, we're going to try and kind of fix this if we can. Um, much easier said than done, I must say. But we'll just kind of maybe do a little bit of this. And then... Stone brick, stone brick. Oh, that's right. This one can't actually... Hmm. And then where's my andesite? Thinking something... Something like that. Should do. And then we'll maybe... Do kind of the same... In here. And... You can become andesite as well. So you've got that sort of thing going there. Do I have any more steps left or stairs? I have hmm, I have a couple uh, of these carpenter's blocks. So I suppose that will do. Let's just put those up here just to kind of bring everything together. And there we go. That looks pretty good. That looks pretty good indeed. And I think we are out of time for this episode, guys. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave me a comment. I do appreciate it, and it really helps out my channel. You can also find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch. There are links in the video description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll definitely see you next time.